I didn't actually discover I had inferiority complex myself, but the feeling was real. I didn't know the name because I didn't know the name for what I was feeling because it was I was much younger then. It was my elder sister, Auntie Kemi, that she was like, it's like you have inferiority complex, so you need to work on it. And that was how I got to know the name of what I was feeling. I, I felt I was no good. I, I was uh, void of talent. I was worthless. Every other person is better than me and I'm just there. The, the girl without the talent, you know. I don't know if you know that feeling. The feeling of um, worthlessness. The feeling of not being capable of doing anything meaningful. I felt that we are at a very tender age and thank God for her. She, she was able to notice that and she asked me to work on it and although i didn't know how i was going to go about that so that feeling stuck with me for a long time a very long time a very very long time to the extent that when some people when i do some things and people give me accolades i feel like they are just flattering me like it's not really true what they are saying then i met my husband Hallelujah. In inferiority complex made me pull back from doing a lot of things. You know, to the extent that when I gained admission to school, that was 2015, I had to. I'm this quiet, shy person. I don't make friends easily. So when I got to school, I was determined to change that. I wanted to be seen. I wanted to be heard. So I started being this lousy girl that i'm not and i just felt there was something missing even when i while doing all of those things i discovered that i i wasn't fulfilled so i just had to go back to the way i was before being this quiet calm person you know now that really made me do a lot of things in school then i just wanted to make friends at all costs, you understand? I, I ended up saying yes to some people that I should do today when I when I think about about it, I'll be like, Wumi, are you alright? During those times I wasn't in any serious relationship. I'll be like, Are you are you normal? My friends are in relationship and at my age then I wasn't in a serious relationship. So I was bent on having a boyfriend at all cost to the extent that a guy just i just said yes then i afterwards after saying yes i started asking myself why i said yes why i said yes i was like mm. then i had to break break it off then and there i decided to not say yes easily anymore i was able to overcome inferiority complex by the opportunity of um, developing myself, the opportunity of being a better version. Because with the inferiority complex, I don't even try to do things because I believe, ah, if people are doing it, it is not you. You can't do it. Look at you, you want to even try. So I end up not trying to do things that would have better my life. Okay, that would have made me a better version of myself. I ended up becoming stagnant, stuck in one position because I always have this thought of what people will say if I do this, you know, it won't be perfect, it won't be as perfect as this person's, it won't be, I just started, I will compare, I can compare myself with other people. My friend, blessing, she really helped, you know, I didn't know, I have this voice. voice but i i wasn't aware i had it during my cws my supervisor then you'll be like we had a discussion program then and he was like ah, i'm the best discussant you know i thought he was just saying it but these are people who who saw the value in me before i could even realize it myself you know so then in hnd1 my friend just pushed me like blessing she pushed me to do this 
news so when i started she was impressed and she just wanted everybody to hear it <laughs> She wanted everybody to listen to the news. She was like, sit down there, see this thing, they're okay. So I was like, I wasn't that sure, but she's she's this outspoken lady. I love you, blessing. <laughs> so she's this outspoken person. She was like, sit down there, it's okay, that it's good. Even when I did not notice it then, that was the moment I became aware that you have a unique voice which can be used to better lives including your life you can use it to speak to people so i started having ideas on a lot of things that i could do but that fear was still there i had not overcome the 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 voice the feeling that you are worthless you can't do anything so my sister would tell me to read. She say, ah, "You better read. You need to read. Read a lot. Read books. You know." But um, I will just be there. I can watch film from now to tomorrow. <laughs> if it's movie, ah, uh, just give that to me. I can watch movies. You know. So she would tell me to to read books. Like it broadens your knowledge. It makes you attractive. Read books. She then uh, I met my husband but then he was my fiance you know so he's this person that see he just doesn't want you to just be there he wants you to equip yourself with value you know build yourself be a better version of yourself the 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 thing we cannot outgrow is developing ourselves every day we talk he'll ask what what have you done today you know he i'm always accountable to him so that way i was able to invest in myself i started listening to messages so from all of those messages god helped me to get rid of that inferiority complex if not totally but to a large extent it helped me get rid of that inferiority complex the feeling of not good and not being good enough the feeling of um not being seen god just his spirit just took charge of my life just filled me up to the extent that now i just i want to do a lot of things i feel like i can do everything <laughs> i feel like i can do a lot of things things now like i just want to do a lot of things at a time it's like i want to make up for the lost years you know the inferiority complex has taken away from me all thanks to god first who helped me all thanks to my sister mrs anjari i love you all thanks to blessing and finally all thanks to my husband and all of my siblings, they, my, my sister would tell me, ah, what about, I would tell her that she can learn this, she can learn that. She would be like, ah, you uncle, but this, there is this belief that I can't do it. She's the one talented person. You too, you feel learn now, but in my heart of heart, you now you be the guru, you are the talented one. Me, I can't, I don't learn fast. I don't. So that belief has robbed me of a lot of opportunities, opportunities to learn. So I don't even want to learn anything because I believe I won't get a hang of it. Uncle Anjori can attest to that. When he gave me a laptop, I just, I kept it there. <laughs> I just left it in, in the cupboard. I didn't open it. I didn't try to do anything on it. And he will get angry. I'll be like, ah, huh, ah, God, ah, may God have mercy. Thank God for his mercies on my life, over my life. And thank God for the people he has used for me. To bless me and make me a better version and i believe i will keep developing myself i will keep growing and you will keep seeing a better person a better mrs solomon <laughs> knowing god played a huge role in in reading me of the feeling of worthlessness the feeling of not being capable because through his word i discovered that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And what everything I need to succeed in life, he has already deposited them in me. So it is left to me to now tap from those innate abilities that I have. I know a lot of people 
a lot of people are going through what I passed through and I want to encourage you this today to be to go to God ask him to help you and also believe in yourself I hope this will help all right have a wonderful day